The North Houghton High Court in Pretoria has been hearing arguments in President Cyril Ramaphosa's urgent interdict application against the public protector advocate Busisiwe Mkwebani. The president wants uh, the court to suspend Mkwebani's uh, remedial actions, instructing him to discipline uh, Minister Pravin Godan. The matter relates to Mkwebani's findings against Godan. In her report released uh, in May, she found him guilty of maladministration for approving the early pension payout of former SARS Deputy Commissioner Ivan Pillay. Mkwabani instructed the president to discipline Godan. However, President Ramaphosa's uh, advocate Nwago Maineche argues that it will be unlawful to discipline Godan right now while there is a pending judicial review of Mkwabani's report. My nature says uh, the public protector cannot dictate to the president by giving him timelines as to when to discipline Kodan. He says she must respect the separation of powers. Mkwabani and the EFF are opposing the interdict application. The public protector's decisions are not unassailable. And that is the message from the constitutional court itself in the EFF judgment. And this recent decision of the constitutional court makes it abundantly clear that she must subject herself to constitutional scrutiny to suggest that despite pending constitutional scrutiny, her remedial action must be implemented whether appropriate or inappropriate. My lady, this coming from the mouth of the public protector in the affidavits and in the written submissions is to say it's concerning is an understatement. The public protector is bound by the constitution. And that is why she repeats the EFF judgment in her report to say that the remedial action must be appropriate. That requires the president to exercise his powers in line with the constitution, lawfully and rationally. It cannot, with respect, be argued by for the public protector that the president must do so whether that remedial action is appropriate or inappropriate. It's completely wrong. Meanwhile, Pravin Godan's legal counsel, Michelle Leroux, has questioned why the matter was brought to court. She argues that it is unnecessary as the pub public protector is not opposing the application. The arguments made by the public protector and the EFF in their opposition to the president's application, they, they have a lot of, um, there's a drumbeat in their papers about uh, accountability and about upholding the constitutional role and mandate of the public protector and of protecting the office of the public protector. And this drumbeat is about uh, the need for constitutional institutions to be upheld and, and uh, supported and this drumbeat that accountability must follow. But what's missing is any grappling with what the actual remedial action is. And what's missing is any appreciation or recognition of the fact that the Public Protector's re report is under a serious legal challenge in the review. Advocate Dalim Bofu, representing the public protector Busisiwe Mkobani, says the president has not complied with uh, the remedial action against Pravin Godan. This case is devoid of any merit whatsoever. There is not a chance that this kind of case can succeed on its terms, as it were. Your ladyship will see that you have basically uh, three types of relief that have been asked for. And just reading, I mean, the attitude really, I suppose now is that some of these parties, all they have to do in a court of law is just to show up and then uh, they must then get their relief. It doesn't matter what they bring, it doesn't matter the quality of their papers, it doesn't matter whether they meet the requirements of the law. You know, uh, they simply have to rock up and, uh, and then the public protector must be insulted. The former public protector, Professor Tuli Matu,